Graphing and solving simultaneous equations. Uh, the first method we'll have a look at in graph and table. So we come in here and the first job is to enter our two equations. So I'm going to use the keyboard 3x minus 4 for the first equation and tap execute. And again 6 minus 2x for the second equation and tap execute. So that both equations have a tick beside them here. Um, now downstairs I'm just going to tap into here and initialize this view window. So zoom, initialize. Uh, back upstairs, tap into the window to select it and then this icon appears to draw the graph. And there's our point of intersection. We can read off um, that it's at 2-2. Two, two. But uh, maybe it wasn't that obvious or we can't see it. We can always use analysis, G solve, intersection for the point of intersection. And the coordinates are given at the bottom of the screen. 2 comma 2 is our solution to that one. Um, occasionally, say I'm just going to um, escape there and move the point of intersection off screen. Now, Whenever ClassPad solves um, for a particular feature using the analysis G solve menu for any of these, if the particular point you're looking for is off the um, screen, either over to the left or off over this side to the right, it's going to come up with not found. Intersection and it says not found. OK. Uh, if I move it back, now if I have the point of intersection, it's off screen, but it's now, we know it's up about here somewhere, it's within the domain that we've set here on our x-axis, now ClassPad will find it when I choose intersection. So it's always important to check that the point you're looking for is within the domain that's set up on the view window. Otherwise, you may need to zoom out, tap on the uh, negative key. I need to stop it intersecting if I tap the zoom out uh, and zoom out one more time. Generally, that helps to find these kinds of points.